without the availability of fossil fuels, we're kind of making use of a lot of resources that otherwise would just go to waste, right? So um, I'm out here today gathering wild grapes. grapes are growing on apple trees in our orchard uh, that we're taking care of. Um, this orchard and these grapes have largely been abandoned and not taken care of. And that's why they've been allowed to grow over these apple trees and in some cases kill them. So um, this year my goal is to harvest as much of the wild grapes as I can, make uh, wine and jelly, and then I have to take out these wild grape uh, vines because again they're killing the uh, apple trees which are you know more valuable in terms of of, of what we need to survive here uh, and they'll become more and more valuable as the years goes on as as you know the, the things that are available to us now uh, are no longer um, as easy to get wild grapes are not your table grapes they are uh, they have a lot of tannins so they have a lot of uh, tartness to them is a nice way of saying it and they have really big seeds. They're perfectly good and edible, but they're not just something you'd put on the table and eat. Um, and so making sugar, or excuse me, making jam and wine out of them takes a little bit of a, a different tactic. Now I have to take these grapes from the bucket, pop the stems off, weigh them out. I need 20 pounds of grapes, I'm making wild grape wine. Um, never tried it before, but I happen to have the stuff laying around because I bought a wine making kit so I could use all the equipment to make cider and mead. Turns out it also works for wine. So imagine that. All right, so oh, here goes. Okay, so after I stripped all the grapes and cracked and mushed them all, I put them in a sack um, and added uh, sugar and water. Um, I'll, I'll post the, a link to the instructions I'm following online. And then I had to add uh, Camden tablets, and those kill the wild yeasts. In a perfect world, I would just let the yeast or I'd let the, the natural yeast do their thing. But I want to not experiment my first time making um, wild grape wine so I'm following the instructions exactly so I added the Camden tablets that kills the yeast 20, 24 hours later um, then I pitched the yeast unfortunately I had filled it up too high and it would have bubbled over so I have a little extra in here and today it is really bubbling um, and you can see over the night where it must have really bubbled up an inch or two and it's left residue on the side um, and this one it's uh, less bubbly because the sack is still in there with all the t with all of the grapes, so I'm turning it around. But the sack is really buoyant because all of the, the yeast is adding uh, CO2 to it. So uh, it's been two days. Uh, it's going to be another three to five days, and then 
this will be done. And now I'm pretty much taking on the same thing again, uh, but this time I'm making wild grape jam. And the neat thing about wild grape jam is these wild grapes have so much pectin on them that I don't need to add pectin. Usually uh, one adds pectin, which is kind of a naturally occurring fruit. Yes, a fruit, a fruit binder. And that's what actually makes it into jelly. It makes that jelly cohesion, if you like. What do you have to add? With these wild grapes, just have to pick the stems off. Unfortunately, I can't shortcut them like I did with the wine. Okay. And now I'll mash up these uh, grapes that I've collected. Never mind the complete mess down there. The young boy has found our tea hutch, and every day he likes to take all the tea out and inventory it because, you know, gives him something to do. And I'm mashing it right now instead of setting it, you know, using a blender or a immersion blender because I don't want to bust open the. Um, the seeds, because the seeds are much more bitter. I just want to get these things mashed down, release a lot of the water, so that when I start to simmer these, they'll just cook themselves. I'm going to add a little bit of water, probably a couple cups. So uh, we've got uh, three and a half uh, pints of, of grape jelly uh, with the, what was left over. So out of 10 gallons of grapes, I've made five gallons of wine and three and a half. Um, pints of grape. Now it's time to transfer the fermented uh, apple juice, the early wine, the young wine, into a carboy. And that way it can finish fermenting in the basement. It's so purple it looks fake. So that was the extra, and now I have the rest, the main bulk of my wine in this one here, but I have to pull the pulp bag out and let it <laughs> drip out, yeah. Well, there you have it. That's our grape processing for this year. Uh, wild grapes is a nice uh, extra crop that we didn't have to spend any time growing, and uh, it's nice to harvest them before we have to pull them off the apple tree, so that's that's great. Thanks for watching our little clip this week. Um, we'll be uh, making more clips um, as quickly as we can and then stitching them together in full episodes. Uh, so stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, you can visit us on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you can visit us at lowtechinstitute.org to find out more about Foodmageddon and what we do in general. And uh, thanks for watching.